We're like so lucky to have our own ship, Nick. Touring the galaxy, cruising the cosmic slipstream, checking out the cool meteor showers. Life sure is awesome. No doubt about it, Taffy. Space Recon. Our job is the raddest of rad jobs. We're like super space cadets trained to save the universe. It also helps greatly that the universe is experiencing a measure of peace unseen since the end of this treaty of spaceship 13,433,801,222. Which means you two never really had to save anything. No doubt, Clank. And hopefully never will. Peace is cool. Flying around in wartime would be a real drag. Yeah, like a super drag. Dragtastic. Dragorific. This terminology is not computing. Please specify or alter your dialect. No worries, Clank, buddy. Just chillax with us and dig these awesome stars. Chillax does not compute. Nick, you gotta, like, use proper language with Clank. He might be our super cool spaceship buddy, but he's, like, totally programmed. Our talk has to make sense, or else he loses his motherboard. Right. <laughs> Sorry, Nebrula. Nick! My bad, my bad. <laughs> Disregard, Clank. Onward, metal buddy. Proceeding onward, Nick. No, I, I, like, give orders and stuff. <laughs> oh, that's so rad. Nick? Taffy? Captain Maya! Captain Maya! Hello, space cadets. I need to see you both back at the space station at once. Whoa! Uh, that sounds intense! Is everything cool? Unfortunately, no, Nick. Everything is most definitely not cool. Dang! We'll return right away, Captain. Clank, reroute us back to headquarters. Rerouting presently, Taffy. That was fast, you two. Ooh. Asking you shall receive, Captain. Thanks, Brad, like that. Well, that's why he was issued to you. Cause we're so super cool, we need a super cool spaceship? Because you're so flighty, you need a responsible ship. Flighty? Uh, copy that. We do log some galaxy manga space miles. Nick! We'll try to be better, Captain. Never mind that, Taffy. With our space interceptors currently on assignment in the Pyorgamon galaxy, you're all I've got. What are we talking about? Jabba the Jaw. <gasps> Jabba the Jaw? You mean the intergalactic creepazoid space pirate? That's the one. But I heard Jabba was captured in the Furcum galaxy and sentenced to 400 light years hard labor. He was, Taffy, but one of his minions orchestrated his escape. And he's since gotten up to his old tricks. I swear, that old space corsair gets more lives than a cat. <laughs> That's funny. There's nothing funny about it, Nick. Uh, right. Jabba's holed up in his traveling nightclub, the Starlight, surrounded by helpers, or should I say, thugs, who can see trouble coming a mega ion away. What's his plan? I'm glad you asked, Taffy. We have a plant on the inside who tells us Jabba intends to use his spaceship's microwave teleportation radiation to drain the food sources from other planets. Microwave teleportation? That's crazy! So, like, he's snacking other planets dry? Exactly. Whoa, this takes evil to a whole new level. Seriously? Captain Maya, if I may ask, Who's our plant on the inside? I can't divulge that information, Cadet Taffy. The identities of our highly trained undercover agents are super top secret. And whatever you do, don't ask directly. Our agents will never give themselves up, even if they're talking to someone from our side. 
Asking will only alert Jabba's camp that there's a rat in their midst. It's a rat! Okay, gotcha! Whoa! That's clever! That wasn't meant to be taken literally, you two. It's not a rat. Oh. <laughs> or maybe it is. You simply won't know and should leave it at that. Um, okay. So what are we going to do, Captain? Like, like, go visit the Starlight and tackle Jabba or what? I'm glad you asked, Cadet. Firstly, we're going to supply you two with all the tacos you can carry. Tacos? Red. Totally! This will be a good hook for Jabba Jaw to engage you. His ship's food detection radar will pick up on your cargo, and he'll more than likely come to you. Oh, so we can just, like, chill and eat tacos till he shows up. Do not eat all the tacos, Taffy. You'll need them as bait to lure Jabba. That's one cool plan, Captain. We'll excel and succeed. Yes, well, it'll keep you two from flying around willy-nilly in the galaxy, where you could get swallowed by a black hole or any number of other misfortunes. Which wouldn't surprise me. At all. Straight up. Space life is like a box of berry mints. Just crunchy on the outside and juicy on the inside. We're berry mint space travelers all the way! I don't know what you're talking about, Nick. And that's what I'm afraid of. Don't forget about Clank, Captain. His functions are top notch. He always keeps us out of trouble and on course. I'm not sure I'd call Clank top notch. More like refurbished. But he's recording this conversation right now. So if you forget anything we've discussed here, you can access it through Clank's memory banks and replay any part of it that you need. Wow! Clank's my dude! Totally! When you've made contact, your goal is to dock the starlight at any cost. I don't care how you do it. Just get that Nightmare Nightclub out of space. Jabba's bringing famine and starvation to everything he touches, cadets. The survival of all the worlds depends on you. This is without a doubt the best party I've ever thrown, let me tell you. Pumping jams and conquering the galaxy. <laughs> what could be better? Off the top of my head, a big block of Swiss cheese. <laughs> Now that's what I like about you, TNT. No matter how much you got, you always want more. What can I say? I learned from the best, Java. Flattery will get you everywhere, TNT. a little bit scared. This could be a dangerous mission. Could be. I mean, like, I've never really flown around with two tons of tacos to lure a carnivorous space pirate before, so I really don't have anything to compare it to. I know, right? Totally. A ship has reached our radar. Would you like me to destroy it? Destroy? What? Whoa, Clank. Slow your roll. Yeah, we might be on a treacherous mission to save the galaxy, but we're not, like, baddies. Baddies? Like, hostile. Right. Let's keep our super-duper cool exterior and see what's up. Besides, we've never even fired our cannons. I'm not sure they're even loaded. We loaded the cannons with taco meat earlier. My hole filled quickly, and we ran out of room. Taco meat? Burger bombs! That's so rad! <laughs> totally rad! I also have pretty rad lasers, as you say. Halt! Who goes there? Just us, little fella. Nick and Taffy. 
Easeful Space Recon. Easeful? Well, you violated my space space, Nick and Taffy. Prepare to suffer dire consequences. Oh, yeah, we're, we're like not into suffering, cute little space thingy. Totally not into it. Well, you should have thought about that before you ventured into Long Snot the Vicious's territory. Wait, <laughs> Long Snot? Your name's Long Snot? <laughs> That's funny. Excuse me? That's a funny name, little cutie pie. Long Snot. It's not Long Snot. It's Long Snot. I got it. Long Snot. No, Long Snot. You're saying long snot. It's the same thing, tiny fella. Sounds totally the same. It's not the same. Listen to it. Long snot. Long snot. No. Hey, I can clear this up. Clank, activate syllabic detector. Syllabic detector activated, Nick. Wait, the, who, who was that? That's Clank guy. Clank guy? Who for space six is Clank Guy? Not Clank Guy. Clank. Guy. Clank, could you please repeat this dude's name? Affirmative. My syllabic detector has registered this entity as Long Snot. Word. You trespassers are insane. We're not trespassers, space thingy. We're cadets. Well, good for you. And I'm not a space thingy. Nor am I a little cutie pie. Nor a long snot. I'm an alien being from the snot snot galaxy. Hey, y you said snot twice. <laughs> yeah, twice. Don't change the subject. You're interlopers. And you're going to pay. How about we just give you a couple loaded tacos and call it even? Yeah. Loaded... Uh, what? Is that some lame code for mortar fire? No, little being from Snot Snot. Tacos. You eat, right? Of course I eat. I'm an organic molecular structure. A living thing. And my name is Long Snot. Well, we have the best tacos around. You want one? Do you have shredded cheese? I'm not sure. Clank, is there cheese on our tacos? Negative. No cheese. Enough games! First you try and bribe me with food, then you don't have the toppings I prefer. You suffer twice as long for this. You know, little fella, uh, instead of making creatures suffer, have you ever thought about making them smile? Smile? I make plenty of creatures smile. I work part-time as a party clown, birthdays and such. Get out. No way. Way. Uh, Nick, Taffy, uh, that information actually glitched my prediction banks. No way. We haven't lost power to the coolers, have we? The coolers are fine. Phew. That'd be a heck of a lot of lost tacos. Greetings, Captain Ganymede. I trust this transmission finds you in good spirits. Well, 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 Captain Meyer. A long time no see. I believe I still owe you that dinner at Pastini's, uh, down at the space station. I might take you up on that sometime. Currently, though, we have a little problem. Is it the Gamerulons again? They don't know when to stop harassing the galaxy. No, it's the Gamer Rulings, Captain. It's Jabba Jaw. Jabba Jaw? But he's doing 400 light years hard labor in the Furcom galaxy. Correction, was. <sighs> now you mean he... Escaped, with the help of a sneaky little rodent who disguised himself as a guard. TNT! No, they didn't have to blow anything up. They waltzed right out the front gates. He waltzed? Uh, that bloke does love his music. And TNT's the name of the rodent who helped him. Whatever driver goes, uh, you can bet that little bugger's never far behind. I see. Good to know. 
I've dispatched two of my best, well, two of my most, two of my fleet cadets to try and intercept Jabba and stop him before he does any more damage to our satellite planets. Crikey! Oh, what's he got up to then? Jabba's robbing space colonies of their food supplies, Captain. He's trying to starve the galaxy. Oh, this is terrible. Bet as a nine bob note, that one is. Do you require assistance from my team of space guardians? If there are any space guardians available, I'd welcome them to the fold. I think our galaxy could use them. Say no more. I'll send a team straight away. Thank you, Captain Ganymede. Oh, don't mention it, Captain Meyer. But member of Pastinis, yeah? The best truffle space scrubs in the galaxy. Will do, Captain Ganymede. Love truffle space scrubs. Here we are, T. The Angus Star Cluster. I can smell the sizzling T-bones from here. Let's get getting some of this loot. Get a load of this big lunkhead. Hey, you goober. Get away from the camera. I want to talk to whoever's in charge down there. Oh, that's me, mister. What's the chefs are on strike or something? I don't know, and I don't care. All right. Ooh, whatever you are, this is Jabba Jaw. Infamous space pirate and intergalactic raider. And I'm here for your Angus food supply. Yeah! Where's the beef? Oh, you're here for lunch? Do you have a reservation? A reser... I'm going to say this one more time, Stardust. Brain, bring out the food, all of it, or kiss your little star cluster bye-bye. That's right. We ain't asking, Lumpy. Well, there's about a 40-minute wait right now, but if you come back after lunch, I think I can seat you. Every time I think I've found the dumbest creature in the galaxy, along comes another one. Ask him if they have Swiss cheese on the menu. Enough tomfoolery! You have one chance to surrender before I blast you to bits! That's not real cool. Yeah, that's like a pretty lame attitude, to be honest. Lame? <laughs> lame? I'll show you lame. Maybe I'll just cripple your ship and leave you floating like the space junk you are. He must take me for a docile spacecraft, activating laser shields. Fire at will, pilots. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your turbo boosters, Clank. We don't want to get into a laser fight. Especially with this tiny, snotty creature. Our mission's more important than this. Did you just call me a tiny, snotty creature? She did. Why don't you do something about it, Space Jack? Clank! Whoa, Clank, be nice. Uh, I'm not afraid of this space spec. I was built to kick stardust. Go ahead. Make my ion little thing. Fight you zero gravity tin can! I will! Prepare for your destruction! Dang, we are in deep! Deep space indeed! Hold on to your molecular butts, Nick and Tabby! It's on!
heard you asked to see me, Captain. You heard right, Space Guardian Squeak. There's a matter we need to discuss. Before you go on, Captain, I can explain. You can? Yes, I have somnambulism. Somnambulism? I sleepwalk, so I went to bed hungry last night, and I guess while I was asleep, my stomach took over. Uh, go on. So while it's true, I was the one who went to the kitchen overnight and ate all the tacos, I'm not really responsible, because I didn't know what I was doing. I was sound asleep the entire time. My stomach is addicted to tacos. Well, it's good to hear you come clean, Agent. <laughs> I'm sorry, and I will do it again. I mean, we'll, we'll never do it again. Unless I see a taco, that is. Uh, but that's not the reason I called you in here today. It's not? No, it's not. Oh, uh... <laughs> Darn. We have a problem brewing in the galaxy with our old friend, Jabba Jaw. Jabba? I heard he was doing 400 light years hard labor. He was, but he's escaped. A crafty pirate? Now he's robbing planets of their food sources from that blasted nightclub ship of his. The Starlight? Cool! It's most definitely not cool, Squeak. Not at all. <clears throat> right. That's terrible. Now we've got some help from Captain Meyer's fleet. Uh, they got the jump on us. Uh, they're already out there searching for Jabba. I'm sure they'll find him in no time. The starlight's hard to miss. Well, the cosmos is vast, Squeak. And uh, Nick and Taffy are a little... Uh, uh, how can I say? Zippy? Uh, to say the very least. I'm going to dispatch you to lead a Space Guardian hand, Squeak. Sweet! We need your telepathic ability, Squeak. You will empty your mind and receive tips from the informant aboard Jabba Jaws' ship. We have an informant? Oh, cool, Space Beans! So secret agent-like. I'll just grab some pretzels from the lounge, then I'll be on my way. Uh, now, Squeak! Right away, Captain. Invaders, you've won this round, but mark my word, you haven't seen the last of Longsnot the Vicious! Longsnot? <laughs> Stop, that's so funny. Longsnot! It's one word! One word! First name Longsnot, last name the Vicious! You won't make lots of friends with a name like that, man. Friends? Who needs friends? Tis better to be feared than loved. Oh, I've heard that before. Who said that? It was Machiavelli. Machiavelli, right. That space guy had no chill. Like none. Hey, what you say we make like eggs and scram, Clank? We have a space pirate to catch. Yeah, let's make eggs, Clank. I'm not equipped to prepare breakfast. However, either of you can visit the galley and do it yourselves by making use of your opposing thumbs. Maybe later, Clank. Warp speed, metal friend. As you command, so long, snot. Yeah, so long, snot. Sorry about the skirmish. Send any ship repair bills to the Space Heroes headquarters, care of Captain Maya. But my name's Long Snot! One word! Hey, are you guys still there? We have some seats available on the patio if you'd like to come on down. Uh, oh, yeah. What are you serving, by the way? Oh, we have a wide selection here in the Angus Star Cluster. You name it, and it's on our menu somewhere. Really? Because that sounds impossible <laughs> for a colony stricken by famine. Famine? Uh, no, we have plenty of... Uh, 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 we, we, 
We're out of food? How's that possible? <laughs> We've stolen all your food. That's how. Enjoy starving, space simpletons. <laughs> Here we go again, Commander Ham Sanders. Another space ion, another galaxy to save. A galaxy to save? Boy, I'm out here to practice my bird watching. No, Commander Ham Sanders. There's no birds in space. What did you say? You gotta speak up, my boy. Can't hear a thing without my hearing aid. You've been deployed with me by Captain Ganymede of the Space Guardians to help Nick and Taffy to catch a rogue space pirate. Space birds? Where? Like I said, Commander Ham Sanders, there's no birds in deep space. Nonsense! Keep your eyes peeled for quails, space shrimp! They were launched into orbit on early space missions! Quails? Okay, we aren't going to find any quails out here. They can't live in outer space! Ah, boulder dash! There are chickens, too! But I don't count them as birds, as they walk! Mmm, chicken! I sure could go for some chicken quesadillas right about now. Is it dinner time yet? All you think about is food, boy! And there are your binoculars! How are you going to spot anything with your naked, shrimpy eye? I'm only looking for our target, Commander. You keep doing your bird thing. Uh, I'll let you know if we find our space pirate. Pirate? Boy, there aren't any pirates out here. We're looking for birds. You're acting like a D-Vein shrimp. I am D-Vein, Commander Ham Sanders. My kind don't have veins, you see? Only kind of a loose slime. Well, that makes more sense. Now, you keep an eye out sunside. I'll look over here. Watch for canaries. Canaries are in coal mines, Commander. Well, they might be in outer space, too. They're excellent explorers. You never know. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Hush, boy. Eyes open. Mouth shut. Listen for their song. All right. <sighs> Pilots, it's with great regret that I have some unfortunate news to report. Oh no! This doesn't sound cool. I don't think I've ever been hit with great regret and unfortunate news in the same sentence. This is going to be a total bummer, isn't it? I'm afraid so. Jabba Jaw just hit the Angus Star Cluster and robbed the entire region of their food supply. <gasps> no! Mega Drag! Angus was home to my favorite restaurant ever! Billy Bob's Bratwurst and Beans! Right now, we need to get some taco to the Angus Star Cluster. Leave enough to hold them over until we can locate the Starlight. Oh, and I put a call in to the Space Guardians, so don't be surprised if they show up when you need them most. It's kind of their style. The Space Guardians? Cool! That's so bomb! I want to be a Space Guardian when I grow up! Me too! A Space Guardian of the whole universe! Rerouting to the Angus Star Cluster immediately, Captain Maya! Thank you, Clank. Be safe, cadets! We got it under control, Captain! You can count on us! Totally! I haven't seen a single bird, Commander. Can we stop now? There! What? Where? It's a pterodactyl! I knew they still existed out here. Oh, where's my camera when I need it? I don't see anything. Are you sure it wasn't just a shooting star or something? Sometimes things can look pretty weird out of the corner of your eye. Especially if you haven't oiled your sockets in a while. My eye sockets are just fine, Private. And I still see well enough to fly this ship. Look! Uh, Twelve o'clock! It's one of those bearded bellbirds. I haven't seen one of these since I was in Earth's atmosphere 1,300 lions ago. I told you birds could survive in deep space, Private. That's not a bird, Commander. It's a... Mighty Bunyan. Welcome to my slipstream, Spacelings. <sighs> it talks. Incredible. I'll handle this, Commander. We're, we're not looking for trouble, Mighty. Let us go our way. We'll let you go yours. Too late, Prawn. 
Time to pay the toll. The troll. I said toll. The slipstream toll. Slipstream toll? I've never heard of that. That doesn't mean you don't owe it. I've never owned a troll in all my existence. Quiet that smart vacuum down, or I'll double the price, Prawn. Don't listen to that nonsense, Private. I haven't heard of an extortion racket like this since uh, the, the, my last venture to planet Neok. Uh, don't remind me. And from a bearded bellbird, no less. Very well. If petulance is all you have to offer, you get no mercy from me. Pestilence, it's right. I've had a bad case of the flu lately. I think I caught some space electronic bug. All right, I've had it. You may be bigger than me, but it... better looking than you. I didn't say that, but one thing's for sure. You can't beat my magic. I've seen this before, Squeak. He's going to try and sell you a space trinket. What? I don't sell space trinkets. I'm charging you to the slipstream tool. We weren't born yesterday, space huckster. I'm not a space huckster. I'm the mighty bunion. Feared magical creature of Nebula 19. Whatever. We have a pirate to catch. Just sell us our whatever trinket you want to sell and let us get on our way. Have it your way, Prawn. Zaluka, Zaluka, zap. Time for you to take a nap. Actually, that's how we What happened? Where am I? Commander Ham Sanders! Captain Ganymede! Come in! Come in, Captain Ganymede! Gee, I'm getting hungry again. How about you? Always, Jabba. I could go for a blue monster medley with cheesecake for dessert. Pardon my intrusion. Huh? Who the star muck is that? Greetings, Jabba Joe. It's a pleasure to finally meet the grotesque face behind the legend. I've heard so many tales of your spectacular galactic raids. You ever hear about TNT? Nope. What do you want, creature? I've come to bear one in. Oh, yeah? Are you threatening me? No, no, no. Nothing like that. But others wish to. What others? A jabbering prawn and its smart vacuum. These beings I speak of seek to find and remove you from the galaxy. Hello! My name is Nick, and this is my co-pilot, Taffy. She's rad. <laughs> we come in peace. It doesn't matter. We're tired and hungry. If you plan to rob us, you won't get much. We're broke and out of food. We're not here to rob you. We're here to give back. Hey, eh? We heard about the problem you guys had with Jabba Jaw, and we brought some food. You did? Totally. Y'all like tacos? Tacos? We love tacos. Right on. We have a galley full with your name all over them. Have I been summoned by the ugliest mug ever to grace this galaxy? Indeed. What can I do for you, Captain? I have a job for you. Oh, is it underhanded? Nasty and evil? All of the above. And then count me in, I say. I thought you'd feel that way. I need you to find us a new land to raid. We've robbed most of the galaxy's homes and restaurants blind. And our food supply's getting low. Oh, the Captain, we're carrying more food than most of the planets out here. Like I said, our food supply is getting low. Shall I scout a new colony to conquer then? Yes. I knew you were the alien for this job, Slip. 
You are, without a doubt, the greediest, nastiest, rottenest, most heartless, unfeeling alien on this entire spacecraft. Uh, that's why I trust you. I won't let you down now, Jabba. I'll find us a food-rich colony to pillage right away. Try to find some seafood, yeah? And some cheese! Seafood and cheese. Maybe some seafood linguine. I'll see what I can find out, I say. Whoa! I'm in my mind space. Uh, I must concentrate. I'm getting information from another dimension. Yeah, oh, oh, information vital for our mission. Hmm. Yeah, yes? Yeah, yes? Yeah, yes? Got it! Whoa! I just got a mental tip, Commander Ham Sanders. The spy in Jabba Jaws' myths just communicated that Jabba Jaws on the lookout for a new galaxy to raw. What the shooting stars? Who are you? And what do you want in my spaceship? Whoa! Easy, Commander! Easy! What are you? Where did you come from? It's me, Squeak! Ah, uh, alchemy! You were sent by that insane space creature, weren't you? Commander Ham Sanders, listen to me! I'm Squeak, your partner! We've done this so many times before! We're Space Guardians! Ha! Your hypnosis won't work on me, Phantom! I'm wired with triple insulated J602 copper cabling! Mine tricks only work on organic life farms! Commander, please! Look at me! Try to remember! We need to work together! I'll bet! You're probably going to say something like, the survival of the galaxy depends on it, right? Well, y yes. Ah, sorcery. Answer me this, Spectre. What's stopping me from ejecting you from my co-pilot seat with the push of a button right now? You need a co-pilot. Well, well, what have you done with my co-pilot? Where is the private... Boy? Uh, boy? <sighs> it's me, Commander. Commander? Commander? Okay, I'm taking over. Nonsense. Ghosts can't fly spaceships. No, but co-pilots can. I'll keep us on course. Just relax and try to remember why we're out here, Commander. We have to get to Planet Gaston before Jabba Jaw. Why, you... 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 hijacker! Oh, we've just entered Planet Gaston's atmosphere, Jabba. I've radioed their communications tower and demanded to speak with their highest ranking representative. Excellent! We'll probably get their emperor... or king! Or president? <laughs> or dictator? Or commander, or general, <laughs> or whatever this is. You there, identify yourself. Me? Oh, my name's Bonkers. What is your position down there, Bonkers? My position? Uh... I was an offensive lineman for two years before I hurt my knee. I'm not talking about sports. I'm talking about your planet. Are you in charge? Oh, in charge uh, of the planet? Yes. No. I got this, Jabba. Listen up, goof. You're dealing with the notorious space pirate Jabba Jaw, the most infamous scourge, uh, escape criminal in all the universe. Wow! Really? Yes, really. Now we are here for one thing, and one thing only: your planet's food stash. Our food stash. Is there an echo? Yes, that's right, Sponge Brain. Your food. Now let's not waste any more time. 
nobody needs to get hurt here. Round up all the available food and place it in an open area for our ship's teleportations. And don't get any ideas about holding back the cheese. We'll know if it's missing. Once we have everything, we'll be on our way. But uh, we're all out of food. What do you mean you're all out of food? I mean our kitchens and pantries are empty. Picked clean by a ship that came by earlier. A ship that came? <laughs> oh, what ship? A oh, big one. They said something about emergency seizure. <laughs> and then wiped us out. Who were these thieves? I don't know. I never saw them before. They said something about being space guards. Some security company or something like that. The Space Guardians? Yeah, that's it. They were real pushy. Just wouldn't take no for an answer. The Space Guardians took food right out of our this really makes me mad. We flew all the way here just to turn around and leave empty handed. The starlight's huge. Do you have any idea how much fuel this costs us? No idea. I'm just thinking about all that missing cheese. Well, I'm not leaving without something to show for our trouble. Slip, do a food drop. Jabba, uh, you, you want us to give these rubes food? Did I s s s s Actually, you, you did. Yes, on purpose. I swear I'm surrounded by idiots. Slip, drop food on this lame planet. A lot of it. So long, suckers. <laughs> Sure does feel rad to provide for those in need, Nick. I know, right? Did you see that snort dude's face when we dropped the tacos? No, I didn't. Because we buried him. <laughs> <laughs> Taco avalanche. I'd ski that. I wonder if he ate his way out. <laughs> Maybe the villagers came and ate their way down to him. <laughs> They're probably all so stuffed right now. They might run out of tacos and call us back. They'll be on their own. We gotta hang on to the rest for when we find Jabba Jaw. Or he finds us. Come in! Uh, is anybody there? Whoa! Look at this grotesque dude! Who is he? What does he want? My name's Bonkers from the planet Gaston. And I was told to contact you. Contact us? Why? I hid a tracking device in Jabba Jaw's hamburgers uh, with the help of a secret informant. If you tap into the feed, it'll lead you right to him. Whoa, the secret informant. This gets more and more like one of those British spy movies with each passing eye on. Totally. Like, what's a British spy movie? Oh, I don't know. Kind of like a bunch of cool dudes in swimming trunks running around. You have to get British humor, I think. Bonkers, can you tell us who the informant is? I'm not sure myself. Uh, I got a text message that said there was a fake patty in the burger stash Jabba was going to drop on me. And that I should activate it before he took it back. <sighs> Jabba pulled a bait and switch on this poor dude. 
gave him a bunch of burgers. Then was all like, nah, give them back. That's totally sneaky. Anyway, I did what the text asked. You should be able to locate Java through the coordinates I'm sending now. Radical. So, are you, like, starving? Because we have tacos. Does your planet need food? Not at all. We hit all ours. After getting the tip that Jabba was coming, he fell for it. Oh, hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> you checkmated Jabba's check. Double, double cross. Yep. Well, now we're getting ready for meatball spaghetti dinner. Oh, with tiramisu for dessert. Want to join us? Well, we're a small planet. Everyone knows everyone. That sounds like the bomb, but we have work to do. Heroes always work overtime. Oh, gotcha. Well, the invitation stands. Thanks, Bonkers. We'll swing back under better circumstances. Okay. Uh, see you then. Clank, let's check those coordinates. Analyzing coordinates. Uh, uh, I can't read that. Don't worry, bud. I got this. We can catch up in no time. Clank, warp speed to those coordinates. Totally, Taffy. Ah, listen to you. You turned cool, metal buddy. Sleep. I don't want any more mistakes like the one we had back there on Gaston. Yeah, he's Jabba Jaw, space pirate extraordinaire. I have a reputation to uphold. The great galactic eating machine who leaves Nothing but chicken bones and cherry pits in his wake. <laughs> Done. So are you feeling me here, Slip? I'm feeling you, Jabba. I had no idea we were being pursued by the Space Guardians. But now that we know they're on our tails, so to speak, <laughs> we'll stay one micro eye on the head of them. Scout that vessel slip. Make sure there's no one on board. Are you got it, Java? Uh, anybody home? Nobody but us, scrap pot. Clank. Hello, Clank. I've heard a lot about you. I say. Wait, what? Nick and Happy, I presume? Yeah, how do you... We're on the same side, you and me. That was, like, totally rad of you to plant a hamburger tracer. Yeah, it was super spy -rific. I'm just glad it worked out. I'm kind of winging it here. I've never been undercover before. No way! You mean this is your first mission? Yeah, it is! Dude, way to jump right into the deep end. Hey, go big or go home, right? No doubt. So, now that we've found each other, how should we handle this? I'm gonna stall while we take all your tacos. There's a Space Guardian team on the way, so hopefully we can corner the starlight without incident. Radical! Uh, Captain Maya told us they were coming, uh, sometime. Ah, uh, they're unpredictable like that. I'm hoping they'll show up shortly, I say. Slip, what's taking so long with that tin can? Uh, oops, uh, gotta go. Hang tight, guys. I sure hope the Guardians get here soon. Commander Hamstanders, could you expand our radar field? I know the starlight is out here somewhere. The radio's already turned up as high as it will go, and I still hear nothing. Must be on the fritz. Not the radio, Commander. The radar. 
The radar! Why would you bother spraying radar in space? There are no bugs out here. Oh, forget it. I'll do it myself. See? I told you. The volume knob must be broken. I should have known. It was manufactured on planet Earth. They can't do anything right. Hang on. I'm picking something up. Two light years northwest. Why would you pick it up? Have them deliver. Everyone delivers nowadays. I think it's them. I can get us there in no time. Did you order a side of margarine? It's a good oil substitute for my joints. Not butter, though. Make sure they don't give you real butter. <laughs> At this temperature, it coagulates and clogs my coils. Don't worry, Commander. I'll make sure. Hold tight. I've analyzed the contents of the ship's galley, Jabba. It is loaded with tacos, I say. Tacos? What this party needs is taco slip. Lots of tacos. With shredded cheese. With whatever toppings are available. Just bring the tacos. All of them. Especially any that might have melted cheese. Don't let me down now, Slip. Uh, Jabba, it looks like a lot of tacos. It could take a while to collect them all, I say. We got all the time in the galaxy, Slip. No one out here can oppose us. <laughs> no one. Fancy meeting you here, Jabba Jaw. Never fear, Nick and Taffy. The Space Guardians are here. The Space Guardians. Gnarly timing. Oh, look. It's the Space Guardians. Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever will we do? Guess we'll have to give ourselves up, little buddy. Yes, so. Oh, well. It was fun while it lasted. I'm glad to hear you two are being sensible about this. The galaxy has no place for outlaws like you. Make sure you put margarine in my bag, not the real butter. What did he say? Nothing. Never mind. I'm going to shoot a line over to tow you guys in, so don't move. Oh, we won't on. <laughs> we'll be right here. <laughs> We're hit! We're hit! It's a space checking! Hang on, Commander! Those jerks are attacking! It's on! Retrieving, it's on from your slang data bank. It alludes to the initiation of some notable action, either savory or unsavory. This action's totally unsavory, Clank! Totally! of Space Guardian code. You're supposed to uphold the peace. Two birds with a meteor. And I can see these two without my binoculars. What do you know about the Space Guardian code? Oh, oh no! no! The Guardians are taking damage. Much more and they could perish. Return fire, Flank! I thought you'd never ask. What the... Where'd that come from? The taco ship! Slip said it was abandoned! <laughs> Slip! Slip! Ah, so long, suckers! I've ejected in my slip pod, and I'm on my way to dinner at Pastini's. <laughs> ah, good luck with all that! 
What? It's a trap. Oh, pull out. Full throttle. Warp speed ahead. Whoa! They're making a break for it! Don't let them get away, Clank! A space chase, how exciting! You notice he gets more emotional all the time? Totally! The logical evolution of artificial consciousness is the development of self-awareness. Easy! This is a conversation for another time, guys! Follow that spaceship! We're slowed down, but we're not sidelined yet, Private. One of our lower jet propulsion tanks is punctured, and our external compass is scrambled. But otherwise, we're going to be okay. Phew! Oh, for a minute there, I wasn't so sure. Guardians, give me an update on your mission. Have you located Jabberjaw? Uh, we... You've got a lot of gall calling here, Sonny Boy. We waited almost an hour for delivery. And then your guy finally showed up. He forgot my mudrin. Excuse me? We may need to send Ham Sanders in for servicing, Captain. He, uh... Service? Uh, what service? I haven't seen this port an excuse for service since my bolt replacement during the Nebula 2 conflict. Agent Squeak, uh, do you need backup? No, we, we've got it under control, Captain. We've got... I expect a bucket of margarine on the house for this. We know which way Jabba went, and we're in pursuit now. You know, I'm a registered Yelp reviewer. Contact headquarters if there are any more issues. I can have the rest of the team at your side in no time. Don't worry. I won't be using your services again. You've just lost an important customer, mister. Will do, Captain. Can you believe the audacity of that little twerp? Asking us for a good review after screwing up on our entire order. Open my Yelp screen private. I've got some choice words for that company. Ha! We've left those space nails in our stardust tea. They'll never catch us. Gabba, radar's showing a ship gaining on us fast. What? Impossible! Our Starlight's outfitted with twin turbo boosters, each one with its own overdrive. Hey, I'm just telling you what I see on the screen. Well, it must be a comet. No spacecraft can keep up with us in a flat-out race. Not a one. I'm sure of it. Hit my music! Let's get this party started! Yeah. I totally had no idea you were capable of this speed, Clank! Careful you don't blow your engines! Yeah, broski, don't hurt yourself! <laughs> or us! Your concern is much appreciated, Nick and Taffy, but I am programmed not to extend my mechanical capabilities, barring any unpredicted obstacles or cosmic slipstreams. We will catch Java's vessel in one-third of a light year. Bro, this is sick! I had no idea you were this radical of buggy. I'm gonna enter you in some star races when this thing's all over. Star racing is illegal, therefore I cannot participate. Drag. However, based on prior entrance, my odds of winning are 94.7%. Red! There's Java! We're totally catching up! Java, remember that comet that was chasing us? Yeah, uh, what about it? It's the taco ship, and it's about to catch up. What? Why didn't you tell me? I did! You wouldn't listen! Well, what are we waiting for? Blast that overblown saucepan out of the stars!
He just called me an overblown saucepan. I have feelings too, you know. Wow. Who knew? Hey, Ham Sanders. Do you smell that? I'm constructed of metal and vulcanized rubber with a motherboard that enables our communication. I don't smell things. Oh, right. <laughs> it smells like tacos. I should take the controls then. No, I'm good. I just, I just, uh, mm, uh, smell tacos. Can you keep your concentration? Huh? Oh, yeah. No problem. Mmm, tacos. Tacos! Ah! <laughs> Stop doing that! Listen to me, Ham Sanders. That spaceship is full of tacos. We have to catch them. I'm totally starving. No chance. We're flying on one jet propulsion tank. We can make it to the next star station. That's it. No, it can't be. It is, Private. I'll buy you a corn dog. Uh, make it up to you. But, but I don't want a corn dog. I, I, I want tacos. Those tacos. We're so far behind, Skrik. We'll never catch them. You can't defy the laws of gravity. Sure I can. This is outer space. There is no gravity. Oh, <laughs> oh right. Uh, well, you can't defy the rules of time and space. Actually, I can do that too. I know sometimes I don't seem like the most focused individual, but... <laughs> sometimes. But when my brain connects with the right food, like tacos, <laughs> I can literally will things into being. I can do anything I put my mind to. If I concentrate hard enough, I can turn one tortilla and a fistful of ground beef into 1,000 juicy tacos. Refried brains. Hang on tight, Commander Ham Sanders. We're going to catch that scoundrel Jabajaw, and we're going to celebrate with unlimited tacos when we're done. Meh, <laughs> stranger things have happened. I will eat all those tacos. This party ain't stopping. This party has light years to go. Everybody throw your paws up. Uh, throw your tentacles up. Throw your antenna up. Now let me see you all is within reach. What is our preferred method of apprehension? Um, dang. Like, I totally didn't think we'd catch them. Me neither, Clank. Bro, you're, you're the illest ship I know. Most ill. I respectfully disagree. My system is in perfect working order, and there are no viruses in my hardware. I am in your organic balance. The very picture of health. Gnarly. Red. Tacos, 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 tacos. <laughs> tacos, 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 tacos. I got it. I know how we'll stop Jabba's ship. Do tell, Brosafina. Patch us through to him. I'm going to tell him we're out of fuel and he's won. Then offer him every taco we have on board. Uh... No offense, Taft, but uh, this stops him how? That greedy gator won't turn down a mountain of loaded tacos. And when he agrees and is in range, we blast him with every stuffed shell we have out of our cannons all at once. Whoa. What do you think, Clankster? Can we do it? Affirmative. Yeah! yeah! Everybody say hey, ho, hey, ho. Uh, Jabba, uh, Jabba, look at that thing on screen. What are they supposed to be? Uh, 
Dunno! Uh, some kind of clay no puppets. Greetings, Jabba Jaw. We are Taffy and Nick, and we're the co-pilots of this totally rad spacecraft named Clank. Uh, marionette puppets. Mm, uh, a lousy job at that. We were sent to find you and bring you to justice, but unfortunately, we just ran out of fuel. So you see, Jabba, you win. We warp spit ourselves right to an empty tank, and we can't continue. Ha! The rookie mistakes. Totally. So it's back to the space station to refuel for us. But it's happy trails for you. You know, bro, we actually came to respect you a lot on this mission. Don't get carried away, Nick. Shh, <laughs> Jabba, you're one righteous dude. And I dare say, a little misunderstood. A lot misunderstood. We can see that you're really a good gator. Man, you fooled these puppets. Shut up, T. Let them talk. Uh, go on. So before we part ways, we'd like to make, like, a peace offering. We stocked up for a long trip, but we can't possibly eat this big old gang of tacos we have in our galley. So, we'd like to offer them to you guys. <sighs> no way! Way? Hold on. Uh, nothing's for free in this galaxy. What's the catch? No catch, Jabba. Just all the tacos you can eat. From us to you, space friend. Well... I accept. Rad. Rad! Let this be a lesson to you puppets, and anyone else who dares to come after Jabba Jaw. My crew's the mightiest force in this galaxy, <laughs> and our bellies are always full. <laughs> TNT, open the bomb bay doors so we can collect our tacos. Opening the bomb bay doors, Jabba. understand, Jabba. And we're totally sorry for any trouble we might have caused. Clank, fire tacos! This, Nick? What? Hey, what's going on? What is this? Tacos, 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 tacos. <laughs> tacos, tacos. More tacos. They're bombarding us, Jabba. We'll spin out. You puppets won't get away with this. I'll be back! Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm back! Ready to intercept Space Tacos, Commander Ham Sanders! Space Wackos? Where? Want not, waste not! Time for a snack! Nick, Taffy, you two did it! Uh, with all due respect, Captain, we three did it. We got a lot of help from a skeezy spaceship named Clank. We totally couldn't have done it without Clank. Duly noted. And on behalf of our entire fleet, I'd like to honor the three of you with our highest award, the Medal of Space Bravery. Whoa! Whoa.
This honors all mine, pilots. I can't think of any more deserving members of our colony than you. Although, I am aware you had some helping hands along the way. Hey, you two. Nice job out there. For a couple of rookies, I say. Nice job yourself, Slip. You have nerves of steel to do what you did out there. Totally. Actually, I'm a quarter titanium ally, so you could argue some of my nerves are stronger than steel. No way! That's so cool! While we're all here, some other heroes wanted to say hello to you two. Hey, Nick. Hey, Taffy. No. <coughs> oh, <laughs> excuse me. I'm still digesting tacos. <laughs> I'll bet. Dude, you turned stuffing your little face into an Olympic sport. Straight up. Little alien wins a gold medal in hard shells. You guys think that was a lot? You ought to see how many soft shells I can put away. Who's there? Is that the delivery boy? It's Nick and Taffy, Commander. They helped us capture Jabbajaw and save the galaxy from starving, remember? Remember? I'll never forget. I'm still waiting for my margarine. If they're offering discount coupons, forget it. I'm taking my business elsewhere. Don't worry, guys. I'll let the commander know everything's gonna be just fine. And I'll throw in a tub of margarine, too. Sweet! <laughs> <laughs> Hello again, Captain Moya. Captain Ganymede, fancy seeing you again. Impressive got at you train there. Let me know if you ever get sick of their heroics. <laughs> oh, I think they could be Space Guardians material. I think they'd be very happy to hear that, Captain. You should tell them yourself. We're having a celebration this evening. Consider yourself invited. You got milkshakes at this celebration? As a matter of fact, we do. And, uh, uh, will you be at this celebration by chance? As a matter of fact, I will. Then hold a seat for me. I'll be right over. <laughs> See you soon, Captain. So, they think order is restored to the galaxy, do they? I'll teach them. They always seem to forget about me. <laughs> well, I'll show them what a lime green Napoleon is really capable of. Rest up, heroes. Long snot the vicious is coming. <laughs> Soon! <laughs>